This is a quick story about Murasaki Shikibu, but it's also very interesting about women, I think, so I, I see what you think about it. Murasaki wrote in the 10th century in Japan. Now, as you might guess, women's position in Japan over the centuries has not been so great. Um, and the truth is that normally Japanese men would never allow women to write. It wasn't a possibility. But in the 9th century, there was a great, wonderful civilization, one of the great civilizations of, of the Earth's history in China called the Tang. And because of this great civilization, Japanese men went to China to study. And they studied Chinese language and wrote Chinese poems. So they said, oh, if the women want to write a little, doesn't matter, they write in the old Japanese language, it's not the real stuff. And so at the beginning of the 10th century, the greatest works in the history of Japanese literature, the greatest works ever written in Japanese, were written by women in Japan. Mirasaki Shikibu, The Tale of Genji, Seishonagon, The Pillow Book. Great stuff, unbelievable stuff. You stop a Jap Japanese businessman on the street in Tokyo, what's the greatest thing ever written in Japanese? The Tale of Genji, written by a woman. In the 10th century, the Tang Dynasty fell, as all dynasties must, I guess. The Japanese decided, as they have often decided in history, that they could do just as well and do it cheaper, and they came home, forgot about China, and women were not allowed to write really anything at all for 800 years. And then, you know what happened? <laughs> in the middle of the 19th century, the Europeans arrived, the Americans arrived, and the Japanese suddenly realized they had fallen behind Europe and the West. There were things that they didn't know about so much, manufacturing and the Industrial Revolution, lots of things. So Japanese men went to study in Germany and France and America. And uh, again, Japanese studies tended to go lower as European studies became the exciting thing. And right away, <laughs> believe it or not, 1870, 1880, great stuff. Higuchi Ichio, for instance, great writers, women. It really raises a question that uh, has been raised in our own civilization, well, if you give people opportunities, what will they do?